and welcome back. I'm going to show you guys how to keep your B5. This is the Buzz TV's B5 device updated. I had a few people ask me like, hey, I have this device and how do I keep it updated? Like I see sometimes that Google needs updating and stuff like that. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that, how to check it. If you guys are brand new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you guys appreciate the content, hit that thumbs up. Let me call it below. Let me know if you guys have ever tried any of the Buzz TV devices. And in the description below, I have links for this stuff. If you want this one specifically, shoot me an email, rojasentertainment at gmail.com. Um, and I'll get you guys hooked up. Also, I if you want if you want to buy from them directly, I have that link there too. So here we go. Here is the device and everything that comes within this one, it's going to be pretty standard and basic. Um, you get some of your, you know, like I put Ida 64 so that way I could see exactly what the specs are. Um, and then you have a couple other features here, a couple other stuff here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Chrome. Um, one of the things I noticed with Chrome is Sometimes here at the top right hand corner. Now this remote does have a built in mouse. So I'm just going to use this mouse here and it's going to take a, you know, a couple years to get there, but it's fine. Um, I would highly recommend a different type of mouse, like a re keyboard or anything like that, where it has a pad on it. So that way we don't wait here forever to get there. Um, but click on these three buttons here. Now, sometimes this thing right here, where it says update Chrome, that red box, right? There, or the red arrow, I should say. Um, sometimes that red arrow won't be here right here where it has the, the, the three dots. Sometimes with the three dots, it's going to turn into this red arrow. Sometimes, sometimes not click on it and it's going to say, um, you know, what do you want to open it with? Like, where are we updating it? I would always choose Google play store above Aptoid TV just because it's it's chrome it's coming from google so might as well get it from the source um and then all you do is just click it i always do just once i never go always just in case i want to try a different one i go just once and then i go through the process it's going to ask me to sign in to do all those steps and that should be it now the next thing is um they do have here it is buzz tv ota Buzz TV OTA is another one where you can um, update your, your entire device. So when you click on it, you just click check for updates. Now what it's doing is it says checking for system, latest update installed. And here on the left, it says you are running latest firmware on your B5. Current firmware version, current uh, uh, TV version, latest time check for updates. It gives you all that information right there. Now, if your device is running smooth, I would leave it alone. I wouldn't look for these updates. Um, those are the two that should be always constantly looking for updates and stuff like that. So if you don't see, like if your device is running okay, great. If your device is running a little bit slowish or it's uh, glitching or you're having any issues, check those two spots, your Chrome, if you're using uh, Google Chrome or if you're trying to update anything, any of your apps and also your um, your Buzz TV OTA, those two are the most important two places to check, especially Buzz TV OTA, because that'll be the entire box. That's not just Chrome. Um, and then if you have any other issues, just hit up Buzz TV. They have a, a email support system um, and you could hit them up and ask them like, hey, how do I fix this? And that should be it. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. I try to get you guys here. This is, this is just a really quick, short video. So that way you guys understand how it works and how to get this thing updated. Um, the the remote on, I think this is the BT100. There, this remote won't need any updates. This is just going to be their basic remote. Um, everything is just there and it works. Um, if you're having issues with any of these buttons, just email them email buzz buzz is really really good at helping out with all that being said hope you guys appreciated today's episode i try to get you guys here all the information that you guys might need um if you guys have anything that you guys want me to to touch up on this device in particular or any within the buzz tv devices leave me a comment below and then we'll see if i can do a future video for you guys so yeah with all that being said you guys take care take care of each other and i'll see you guys in the next one